Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I've been so excited to film this video. So, as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be doing one of my everyday makeup looks. Probably thinking one. I have two, yeah. One's more simple, the other one's more glam ish. It involves eyeshadow, you get the gist. Hope you guys enjoy the video and let's get into it. I have actually already done my eyebrows and I used the NYX Tame and Frame pomade. I don't even know if you saw that, but um, yeah, in the shade Espresso. And I have already moisturised my face and I used the Tea Tree Witch Hazel Berry Jelly Moisturiser. So refreshing. So, so refreshing. I'm going to start off by priming my face. I'm going to be using the e.l.f. Blemish Control Face Primer. I'm literally just... My mirror is down here, so if you wonder why I'm looking down, it's because that's it. I'm literally just going to apply this all over my face. I actually love this primer. It doesn't give you new spots, if that makes sense. A lot of primers, I feel, they can make your skin worse. I don't know if that makes any sense. But yeah, it's really um, creamy. I think that's the word. Creamy, yeah, we'll go with that. But yeah, I'm literally just using my fingers to rub that all in now i'm going to go in with the mac studio fix foundation in the shade nc15 i use two different shades sometimes it changes so i've used nc15 which is what i'm using today or nc20 but i've run out of nc20 so i've ordered another one and yeah that'll probably be the foundation i use in my next video so I'm just going to take this on the back of my hand and just apply it all over my face, the same. This is literally the only foundation I actually wear because it doesn't make my skin worse because I do suffer with acne and it's a nightmare when it comes to finding products that don't make it worse. Basically, I always find that this foundation's like, oh, I'm, mm, I haven't done for my bit blender. Love that. I can't remember. Oh, door. I can't remember what I last said. Um, yeah, I feel like that's the other oh, bit blender I'm using is just the Real Techniques. I feel like MAC foundation is literally the only one that doesn't make my skin worse. I feel like, I have tried other ones. I tried the e.l.f. foundation. Why am I so out of breath? I literally went to the bathroom which is opposite my room. I can't breathe. Oh my god, I'm so unfit. Oh well. Yeah, so I literally forget what I'm saying. This foundation is pricey. It's £27, but it's so good on my skin. It doesn't break it out anymore, it doesn't make it any worse than it already is. Uh, it gives you full coverage. So now I'm going to take the. Revolution, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C13. Oh, I'm really struggling to show you things. I don't know. Did I say the shade? I think I said the shade. C3 anyway, if I didn't say the shade. But yeah, I'm literally just applying this under my eyes. Onto my chin. Down my nose. What do you call it? 
and the middle of my forehead. I'm also going to apply it onto my spots as well. Because we want to cover those. <clears throat> I don't know why I like putting it here too. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to take the same beauty blender and blend that in. I really like this concealer. I think it actually works really well with that foundation. Brightens you up. My makeup seems to be going really well today. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the video or because I'm not actually doing anything. Or, yeah, because I won't have it on for long. I don't know, but I'm not going to complain. Might be able to get a good Instagram picture. Who knows? I feel like I've got to say something, Major. Oh, I feel like I've got to say something, Mike. Might... I feel like I forgot to say something in my introduction, but I don't know. I have got tan on, excuse the patchiness here. But yeah, so when I have tan on, I like my face being darker. I like my face being darker anyway, but yeah. So I would have used my dark foundation, but I haven't got any. So I'm next going to take the Collection Pressed Powder. I don't know what I'm doing. Um in the shade 24 Mr. Beige, literally the darkest you can get. And this will take this brush, it's just it's from eBay, packed from eBay. I love eBay. If you haven't seen my first video, I was talking about my lashes, which were also from eBay. So I'm just gonna apply this all onto my face. Going so nice. Hmm. Anyone else get carried away on putting their powder on and just keep brushing and then stop? I'm now going to go in with the 17 Define and Contour, contour Kit. They don't actually sell this anymore, so you can't buy it. But so when it does run out, I'm going to have to get a different contour. And I don't know what one to get. So I'm going to take my Morphe R14 brush, which is a contour brush. So I'm just going to contour here. I can't talk whilst I do it because the face I pull. I like to put it up on the sides as well to blend it in for when I onto my forehead so anyone else's hair just get on their nerves it's just my life it's how my life is going at the moment I'm just gonna I like to just take my brush and put it down my nose like that so that I don't actually put blue contour it. I just like to give it a little bit of darkness, I don't even know. And just on my jawline as well. Oh the spot there is so painful. You probably didn't want to know that, but now you do. So now I'm gonna take my favourite bronzer. Which is the biggest bargain in the world. It is the MUA Sun Kissed Bronze. I keep showing you down. I need to stop going on about that. Yeah. Um, it's literally a pound. It's a pound. I'm going to take my CYO brush from Boots. I think this is Boots' new brand. And it's just going to put it all over my forehead and down the sides. Just 
Sorry for my cheeks. I never like contoured. This spot right here. Every time I bronze it, it won't, doesn't go on it. I don't know why. I just don't like me. It doesn't like me. At all. So now I'm going to go in with my contour brush. I'm literally just going to blend it into my hairline more. Like that. And, you know, contour a little bit more. Because you can't have too much. So I'm going to take... <coughs> Oh. <coughs> my powder brush again and just brush underneath just to blend it in a bit more especially my forehead I don't even know a lot with my hair in my face today I've got a thing for um, curly blow dry my hair lately so that is my new thing highlight my favourite thing of all makeup is my highlighter. So I'm going to take in the Jeffree Star. The only highlighter I will buy and use is Jeffree. It's just, yeah, it's pricey. It ain't even that pricey, but yeah, it's pricey compared to other highlighters. But it is the best glow you'll get out there. You'll be seen from space, anything. Is the Platinum Eye Skin Frost Palette. You could probably guess what one my favourite is. The one that's basically going. You know what to use. 30 years later, I always choose one. I think I'm going to go in with Canary mm -hmm. Bling. Canary Bling. I think it's Canary Bling. I'm going to take my Morphe brush. Is it Morph or Morphe? The reason I know, I always say Morphe. I feel like people are going to come at me and say it's more. I don't know. The R31 brush, which is a highlighter brush. And I literally highlight with the chisel out of my face. Because why not? You do you. You glow. But yeah. I feel gold today. Usually when I do like a gold eyeshadow look, I'll do gold highlighter as well. If I was to do like silver shimmer highlighter, um, eyeshadow, I don't know what I'm saying now. I will use a silver highlighter. You probably didn't want to know that, but yeah, I just will put it down the bridge of my nose as well. Is it the bridge? Bridge. Whatever floats your boat. And then I'm going to take this little brush, which is also from eBay, if you didn't guess already. I'm going to go in the gold and make sure I put that under my brows. Hmm. Hmm. I'm going always oh, as if I've never used this palette before. Every time I use it, I overreact. I've done mascara. Oh my god. I just forgot about mascara. Um, so usually I do um, my mascara before my highlighter, but today clearly we're going the opposite to what we usually do. So the mascara, I don't really wear mascara often, I usually just stick lashes on, but my eyes are so sensitive and I don't know why but lately they've been crying at lashes. So I'm going to take the Brimmel London Extra 3D Lash Mascara. I don't know, I feel like mascaras do the same thing. I feel like every mascara does the same thing. It just depends on your lash length. That person, that's just my opinion. Oh, I have a MAC Mascara. That's actually really good. But it's quite evil to take off. Yeah. It's, it's evil. I don't know why it hurts. It, oh, it always goes in my eyeball. 
every time when I had to take it off. Um, clearly I need to um, clear up the mascara on my eyelids because that's who goes with right now. Oh my god, that's an eyebrow. That's an eyebrow hair. It's the one annoying thing about nails when you pinch your eyelid or something by accident. It's gonna go, it's gonna go, it's gonna go. Let's just take my beauty blender out and I'm literally just gonna go over it. I don't even know what my angles look like or anything right now. I'm filming off my phone on um, my back camera so I can't see a thing. So I'm hoping this video comes out good because I've just done a full face of makeup for no reason otherwise. I'm just going to take it off my lips because we don't want that. We don't want it. We don't want foundation lips. I'm not going to put lipstick on or anything actually. I never... Oh, what's it called? Oh. oh, it's literally next to me. It's right next to me. The good old Blistex Med Plus mm. Lip Repair The thing that I was searching for and it was next to me the whole time I didn't have a clue So I'm literally just going to take that I'm not even going to tell you how to put it on It's just to rub it in my lips obviously I'm not even rubbing it in anywhere else Sometimes I just need to stop talking because I just go on and on. Oh, setting spray. Can't forget that. So the setting spray I use is the Obsession Makeup London Fit Fix Extra Hold Makeup Fixing Spray. Just read the whole bottle to you. Might as well just read the ingredients as well whilst I'm here. I mean, it's just, I hate spraying setting spray. But it's part of a routine, so. Was too much. Look like water. So that is the end of my one of my everyday makeup looks. Yeah, I think it turned out nice for a change for once. Look at the highlight. Just look at that pop in. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.